Hello wonderful people, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a vlog for y'all and hopefully this turns out good and I can actually upload it because I've attempted to do multiple vlogs for this channel and something always happens and it never works out and I just, I really like doing vlogs. So hopefully this works out. So I am going to a used bookstore near me and I have a big box of books that I am giving to them to hopefully get some credit, to hopefully get some books that I will enjoy, that I will actually read um, and enjoy unlike the books that I am unhauling. If you saw my unhaul video, it's those and I actually have a few more books that I have grabbed from my shelf um, over the past few days since I've uploaded that, that I am unhauling as well and I want to show those to you so I'm going to do that. So I'm going to show you those and then I'm going to take you along with me to the bookstore because I um, went a while ago and I actually attempted to vlog then and then it didn't work out. So hopefully I can take you along, you enjoy, and uh, I have another unhaul and hopefully maybe a haul. Um, we'll see what happens. So yeah, that's that. <laughs> Okay, so I sat down, I've set up my camera. I could get fancy and get my tripod and sit where I normally sit, which I kind of am, but I could actually sit on my bed. But this is a vlog, we're relaxed. This is me in a regular setting. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to sit down and real quick go through the books that I decided to unhaul after I put up my most recent unhaul because I'm going a little bit crazy with the unhauling and like DNFing. So I have some that I'm definitely, I think, unhauling and then I have some that I'm not quite sure yet, but I'm just going to talk about here. The first one I have here is the This Savage Song duology, The Savage Song and Our Dark Duet. So um, you probably would have seen this on my channel recently because this was part of my Booktubeathon um, TBR wrap up, all that good stuff. And I enjoyed this. I gave it a four out of five stars. I did have some problems with it and I was definitely interested in continuing with the sequel but I have been kind of sitting on it recently and I just don't think I enjoyed this as much as I originally thought I did. Um, I definitely didn't enjoy it as much as everyone else and while I am super invested in like the world building, um, I love the idea of the monsters and you know them being born from crimes and all that um i just don't think it's enough for me to continue with this um because i wasn't that all invested into the characters um i wasn't all that invested into the plot itself um i felt like it was kind of lacking so like the only thing that was really keeping me interested was the world but i don't really think that's enough to continue and i read like the first couple of chapters um and like the epilogue not the epilogue the um prologue of this and it just I don't know, it didn't grip me, so I don't know what's up with that. I'm going to unhaul these to hopefully somebody that will absolutely adore them, because I just am not that invested. So keeping up with the theme of Victoria Schwab, I have A Darker Shade of Magic, which um, is V.E. Schwab, um, her adult author name, uh, pen name I guess you would say, and I got 150 pages into this, and again, I wasn't invested, and I don't know what it is, because like, Everyone adores her and I can't deny that her writing is excellent, her world building is excellent, it's like she's an amazing author, just for whatever reason like I just, her work isn't gripping me and I'm not that invested and it makes me upset because like everyone loves her and like I want to like be a part of the train but like I just am not. So I'm unhauling this, maybe one day I'll continue it, maybe I'll get it from the library and I'll fall in love with it. Um, because it wasn't bad, it just, like I said, it wasn't gripping me. And I don't know why, because like, everything is telling me that I should like these books. Um, so maybe one day I will love V.E. Shaw, but for right now, I'm gonna unhaul these to somebody who hopefully will love them. Next up I have A Daughter of the Pirate King by Tricia Levenseller, Levenseller, I think? Tricia Levenseller. Um, I actually really, really enjoyed this. I rated it four out of five stars as well. Um, from a critical standpoint, it probably would be like a three, three point five because it has it has its issues. Um, but like, I just rated it because it was super, super fun and I enjoyed it. But I'm unhauling it because 
I'm kind of like looking back and seeing all those flaws and I just don't think I am invested enough to read the sequel. I was going to get it um, super cheap um, and read it but I just I don't think I care enough um, like this was great it was fun on its own and but I've heard like a lot of mixed opinions on the sequel and I just want to unhaul this to somebody who will hopefully enjoy it a lot more um, and actually would want to keep it and reread it and read the sequel but for right now I just don't really care about reading the sequel. Maybe I'll get the audiobook from the library. We'll see. Next up is Everything is Falling, the selection series by Kiara Cass. And this is one that I am really not sure if I want to unhaul or not. Like I was very, very conflicted because again, this book and this series has its issues. Like it's super, super cheesy and like totally like reality TV, like drama where like, you know, it's terrible, but like, it's addicting. Um, so I enjoyed reading this series, but I just, I really don't think it's something I'm ever going to reread or get invested in. Um, and uh, it's just sitting up on my shelf and taking up space. And I want to give this to somebody who will really, really enjoy it. So the next book I am on hauling is I Am the Messenger by Marcus Zusak. Um, and I obviously read the book Thief. I really, really liked it. And so I saw this and I was really interested because I obviously liked the book Thief so I like Marcus Suzak's writing and this sounded really really interesting and I found this like super super cheap um, at like a used bookstore type of thing and so I bought it and it's been on my shelf for a while and I was doing more research on it because all I really know about it is what it says on the inside flap. Um, and I was doing research and I was reading reviews and I've come to the realization that I don't think this is something for me. It's not something I think I will enjoy because it's completely different from the book Thief. For whatever reason, I thought this was historical fiction. It's not, unless you count 2002 as historical fiction, um, which 2002 feels like a long time ago. I was a wee child back then. A lot of people really, really liked this. A lot of people were saying that they really, really enjoyed the message. Um, it was a good book. They liked the characters, but just from what everyone was saying, I don't think it's for me and not saying it's a bad book um, at all. I just don't think it's my cup of tea. So the next book I have is George Orwell's 1984. And this is another one that I'm very conflicted on um, because I feel like this is a very important book to read. My mother really, really wants me to read it. Um, she was saying, especially like nowadays, this is a very valuable book to read. But like part of me is just like, I don't care um like i don't really like want to read it so i kind of just want to take it off my tbr unhaul it kind of get rid of it and like i can pick it up from the library and i can listen to the audiobook from the library um and that is probably what i'll do because like even if i do read it i don't think it's something i'm going to reread i don't really think there's a whole lot of sense for me holding on to this when i'm not going to read it soon um, and I can just get it from the library. The next two books I have I think I'm definitely unhauling and that is the first two books in the Ranger's Apprentice series, um, The Ruins of Gorlin and The Burning Bridge. I got these from Guess Where, Goodwill, and guess what I'm doing? Unhauling them without reading them. <sighs> They're basically epic fantasy um, and so I was sitting on them for a while I'm like I'm definitely gonna read them like they sound really interesting like I'm invested um, and then I, they, they just, they've been here for a while and so I was like considering unhauling them but I was literally keeping them out of spite because I'm like I will read these books because I got them from Goodwill and I'm determined to not unhaul another book that I got from Goodwill without reading it. Um, so I was really really just keeping them out of spite. Uh, but I have just realized that I don't think I'm going to read them. I read like the first, I read like the prologue and first chapter of this and again it didn't grip me. Um, I don't think I'm going to be invested and I just don't think this is my cup of tea. I've realized, like I love fantasy. I love high fantasy. Um, I love like magical fantasy. I love romantic fantasy but for whatever reason like I can't seem to get into like epic fantasy. Like these kind of types of um, books, which I guess like Throne of Glass kind of counts as like epic fantasy, but like I really like that, so I don't know. So these last three books are ones that I'm really not sure. There's some that I wasn't sure of, but like I've kind of just told myself that I'm unhauling them. These I'm like 
leaning towards keeping them. Um, but the first one is These Shallow Greys by Jennifer Donnelly. Um, and this is like a historical fiction mystery kind of thing. And uh, I originally rated this 4.5. Um, but I changed the rating to four stars. I really enjoyed this. I really, really liked the characters. I liked the romance. I just felt like this is so unnecessarily long and this could have been a lot shorter. This is like a 500 page book. And so it took me forever to get through and I was just kind of done with it at that point. Um, so I'm kind of just tempted to unhaul it because while I enjoyed it, I don't think it's something I'm going to ever reread and it's not something that like, I absolutely fell in love with. And then the last two books are probably unpopular opinions, but I know a lot of people don't like this um, series, but that is Caravelle and Legendary. And I have so many conflicting feelings on this book because when I read them, I enjoy them. And they're really, really unique worlds. And like, at the time I enjoy the characters, but then I like, put them down, I finish them, and then I keep thinking on them, and I keep hearing people's opinions on them, and like, my feelings change. And it's just super, super weird, because like, I enjoy them at the time, but then like, I think about it, and like, did I really actually like those books? Um, and so, that's why I'm so conflicted on if I should keep these or not, because like, I want to read Finale, because uh, I want to see how I like that and how it ends, because apparently, I have issues with Stephanie Garber's endings um, because the ending of Caravelle just like I wasn't for it and then I thought about it I'm like okay that was kind of a good ending and then like for whatever reason the ending of Legendary like I have so many mixed feelings and it just wasn't like it wasn't there for me and so I'm really really interested to see like A the ending of the third book and just the fact that the third book is the ending of the series so to see if like I'll enjoy that. I was going to reread these um, and just see how I felt um, about them because somebody was telling me that these are kind of books that you have to read like one after the other because they take part um, in so close of a time. Um, they're pretty like consecutive. And so I wanted to reread them one after another and then read the third book to see if that kind of changed the experience or my feelings on them. But I'm not sure if I'm that invested. So. I really really don't know if I'm unhauling these or if um, I will read the third one um, or if I should just get it from the library because I have it pre-ordered so should I like not pre-order it? I don't know. Ah, it's very conflicting so maybe I will unhaul these. Maybe I won't. We may never know except you will because if it's in this video I probably unhauled it. So that's it. I'm going to take these and try and fit them into this box that is already stuffed to the brim um, and unhaul them and take them to the bookstore and get some credit because this bookstore is great and they have a really really good like YA selection and like no used bookstore ever has like a good YA section. Um, a used bookstore is near me though. I'm excited. Um, I'm going to take you along with me and that's that so i will see you in the next clip so this is the stack um of books that i just talked about plus these three and then this is the box of all of the books that were in my previous video um you can't even see all of them but there's a lot of books here so do i have a problem most likely but at least I'm realizing I have a problem and getting rid of these books. Um, and I think the moral of this story is that I really should A, stop buying books because they're cheap um, and really consider if I'll actually read them, and B, um, actually start getting books from the library and reading them and then buying them if I like them because I buy too many books. Um, and then like I don't even end up liking them and I could save all of this time and hassle by just getting books from the library. I would not be the reader I am today without my library um, so I need to use it more often uh, after I <laughs> read these 37 books that I have on my shelf that I haven't read. Um, so yeah. <laughs>
to make decisions because um, I got quite a lot of credit. Technically, I can get most of these, but should I? Is the question. I don't know. <laughs> this is very difficult. Hello, wonderful people. I am back from the bookstore, and I am just very, very excited and very, very happy. Um, that is just one of my absolute favorite bookstores, um, and definitely my absolute favorite used bookstore. One of the best I have here where I live, and I feel like they have such an excellent selection. And they do a pretty good job um, with the trade-in deals and getting store credit or like cash and stuff. They did take a majority of them um, because I do have a lot of popular YAs. Um, and there's about 18 though that they didn't take, which they were the ones I was expecting them not to really take. Um, or the ones I wasn't really sure if they would. So I'm probably going to donate those to my library. And they gave me about $70 in store credit, which was really, really good. Um, I was really, really happy with that. I ended up spending almost all of it except for four dollars of it should I have done that no am I on a book buying ban yes did I just break that book buying ban yes um yeah I kind of have a problem but like at least I got rid of a ton of books right so with that being said I'm gonna actually show you the books that I got <laughs> also I'm really really bad at giving synopsises which is why I hardly ever do it in my wrap ups um, and I don't do hauls that often. The first book that I have to show you is Seafire by Natalie C. Parker um, and I was really really excited to see this. I've been eyeing this for a while. This is a pretty new release. Um, it was only released a few months ago and this just sounds right up my alley. It is about um, a pirate um, ship with an all girl crew and they are just kind of trying to get revenge and um, justice and it just it sounds so cool and I have heard really really good things about it um, and I have been eyeing it and wanting to buy it I just haven't really had the chance because I have all these other books that I have been wanting to buy and read um, but I saw it and I knew I had to get it. So this was $11.99. It's a little bit pricier because it is a newer release and it's pretty much in brand new condition. The only thing um, is like this on the inside, which I don't even know where that came from or how it got there, but it gets covered up by the dust jacket. So it's not that big of a deal. The next two books I got are actually part of a series and that is like A River Glorious and Into the Bright Unknown. I'm trying to remember the title of this and this is by Ray Carson. Yeah, I recently read her first trilogy which is the Fire and Thorns trilogy which I absolutely adored um, and I have been eyeing this one. Um, I've seen these and was actually really interested in them but I didn't know they were by Ray Carson. I didn't know they were the same people. Um, so I really wanted to read these after reading Girl of Fire and Thorns and so I'm really really excited about it. I wasn't sure if I was going to get these um, because they are the second and third books. Usually when I do this it kind of just sits on my shelf for a long time and I don't get the first one for a while. But I figured I might as well get them because they were both $7.99 um, and I just thought that was a really really good deal. And since I know I want to read the series and it's one I'm excited for, I figured I might as well get it. Um, so hopefully I can get the first one soon and hopefully I can dive into this. This is basically an historical fiction set in um, the gold rush. And it is about a girl who basically has a power to sense gold. That's basically all I know about it. Um, I don't know exactly what all that entails, but it sounds really interesting. Um, and I just loved Girl of Fire and Thorns, so I'm really excited to read another series by the author. So the next book I have is Rain the Earth um, by AC... I'm not gonna try and pronounce her last name. I'm so sorry. Um, but this is one I've actually been eyeing for a while as well. I had been seeing it around and I was interested in it, um, but it wasn't something that was like a top priority. Um, but then the second book is coming out or has come out and I read the synopsis for that and that one really, really interested me. Um, and they're companion novels, so um, you don't have to read both of them or in order. Uh, but I just figured I wanted to read this one because it sounds interesting and it sounds like something I would enjoy. So um, I figured I would pick it up, especially because this is $7.99 um, and I've been eyeing it. And yeah, it just sounds really, really good and it sounds right up my alley. Basically, um, it is about a girl who some a war has been raging for a while and she is willing to trade her freedom for an arranged marriage to the king um, to kind of bring peace um, and the person who she's arranged to marry 
uh, is the king of a kingdom who bans the Elemente people, who are people who control fire, earth, um, air, water. Yep. <laughs> um, and she finds out that she is one of the Elemente, um, so it's kind of just a struggle of what to do um, and all that good stuff. So. This sounds right up my alley and I'm hoping I really enjoy it. The next one I found I was super super excited to found and thought it was super super convenient um, because I finished the first book um, in this little duology and that is Wayfair by Alexander Bracken. I read Passenger, um, it's actually going to be in my September wrap up um, which I probably will already be up by the time you see this um, and I absolutely adored it. It was such a good book and I'm so excited to have a sequel and dive into this um, because it sounds like it's going to be just as good um, if not better which I at least am hoping it is. One of my favorite things about the hardcovers of these books is this little design here. The first one is so so gorgeous. It is like a light blue with a silver tree um, design instead of ship um, but this one is just as pretty and this is basically in like pretty good condition. The dust jacket is a little beat up um, but really good condition so I'm really excited for this one. The next one I have is Love and War by Melissa de la Cruz and this is the sequel to Alex and Eliza A Love Story which I read last year and really really enjoyed. I thought it was an excellent book um, and I love like revolutionary America. I love um, historical fiction and I love like historical fiction romance um, so that book was kind of just like perfect for me especially because I love Hamilton the musical and I love um, Alexander Hamilton's story I just think it's super super fascinating that was kind of like the perfect book for me and so I feel like that one wrapped up so nicely and I just love the ending and so I was very skeptical when I heard that there was going to be a sequel and actually I'm pretty sure this is a trilogy now um, but I was like super skeptical because I'm like it wrapped up so nicely like there was no need for a sequel um, so I was hesitant to buy this book I actually originally pre-ordered it and then I canceled the pre-order because I was like I'm probably not gonna read it for a while and I kind of needed to save the money um, but I found it for $9.99 and I was still debating it but I just went ahead and picked it up um, and I'm really honestly glad I did because I think it's, it's gonna be good even though I feel like the first one wrapped up really nicely um, I'm excited to see how this goes down and kind of see their relationship more. I just love it and I love historical fiction and I need more historical fiction. And the next book that I got I was super super excited to find because I have been wanting to read this book for the longest time and that is A Charm and a Curse uh, by Jamie Quistel I believe is how that is pronounced. Jamie Quistel? We're gonna go with that. This is basically um, another circus story that um, gives me major major Night Circus vibes but kind of like modern times and it just sounds so so fascinating. Basically there is like a curse on the circus and this girl's like forced to travel with them and there's a romance and I don't know it sounds really really interesting and I have just been eyeing it for a while and was super super excited to find it. Um, and this is like $16 I think on Amazon and I got it for $11.99 and it doesn't have like raving reviews according to Goodreads um, but I wanted to get it anyway because I just I don't know hopefully I like it um, I think I will I absolutely love the Night Circus and I have been trying to find a book with the same feel and kind of same vibes and Caravelle was kind of similar but like Caravelle's a lot different um, but this is giving me way more Night Circus vibes so I'm excited about it. Hopefully I enjoy it and hopefully it's good. So those are all the books that I got today. Hopefully I don't drop these. Um, I think this is a very, very good haul. Very, very excited. Hopefully I enjoy these. I have to find a place for them on my shelf. So we'll see if that happens. But yeah, um, I had a really good day. Really excited. Love that bookstore and I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. I know there wasn't too much footage in the store um, but it's very quiet and small and I felt really awkward kind of filming. Definitely let me know if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them, if you enjoyed them, um, if you want to read any of them. Uh, I would love to know. So that is about it. Definitely give this video a like if you enjoyed it and definitely consider subscribing me and joining me in this little bookish corner of mine. I also have a bunch of other social media that is always linked below 
below. I have a Twitter, an Instagram, a Goodreads, um, and a Curious Cat. So if you want to stay connected, definitely check those out. I would love to see you there. And with that being said, I will see you all in my next video. Stay wonderful.